Today, I'm going to show you how to grow feijoas, a really hardy fruiting tree and so easy to look after. You're going to need some citrus and fruit tree fertilizer, garden mix, sheep pellets, some seaweed tonic, a bit of mulch and feed, a stake and some ties, and of course, your feijoa trees. So first of all, we're going to soak our tree in a bucket of seaweed tonic. This is going to help prevent against any transplant shock. I'm planting this feijoa at the end of an existing row here. So I've just given it about a metre and a half so that it's got room to grow up. With this hole, we want to make sure it's about twice as wide as the pot and just a little bit deeper. That's looking pretty good. Next, we want to get a good layer of garden mix in the bottom of the hole. That's going to be a good, rich base for our tree. And we'll just check our height. Flush with the top, perfect. Next is a layer of sheep pellets. It's a good natural fertilizer. It's gonna break down and help feed the tree. Just mix those through a little bit. Right, this one's a little bit root bound. Give it a light tease around the edges to loosen up those roots. It's a good idea to stake feijoas if you're in an exposed or windy situation because they are prone to snapping. Put the stake in before we do the backfill so we can keep an eye on the root ball here and not damage any of those new young roots. Right, now we're ready to backfill. But just making sure not to get the level of the soil higher than the pot was originally. Give it a little light press down. Perfect. Drive that in a little bit further. It's nice and firm. Find a good strong point on the tree. Just tie it off. We're going to give that a good watering in. Lastly, we'll just chuck on some mulch. It's going to help keep the weeds away from the bottom of the tree and help retain some of the moisture in the soil. Once you look into it, there are actually loads of different varieties, all with slightly different fruit qualities. On the whole, there are three common types that are great to get started with. Apollo, with medium to large sized fruit, delicious and pretty quick to grow. Mammoth, which produces huge fruit with thick skin and gets to about three meters. Or Unique, which is the best one to plant if you only want one feijoa tree, as it's self-fertile, so you're almost guaranteed fruit. If you have the space, plant more than one feijoa to help with pollination, which will give you more fruit. Autumn and spring's the best time to plant, but if you get snow over winter, best hold off till spring. Once established, they'll do well all over the country in sunny spots with well-drained soil. If possible, keep them in sheltered spots as the trunks or branches can snap in exposed areas. Feijos can also thrive in pots, so look for smaller varieties if that's what you're after. Water often when first planted or fruiting. Also feed every couple of months with citrus and fruit tree fertilizer, full of potassium for great fruiting. It'll take about two years for good fruit production and they'll be ready to harvest late summer into autumn and it's best to let them ripen on the tree rather than harvesting too early. When they pull off easily, they're good to go. Right, this is a pretty established Fijoa tree. Really easy with pruning, is really just to shape them. But this also helps with allowing some air movement throughout the plant for wind and bird pollination and helps the sun ripen the fruit. Now I've just done this for an example, but when you are pruning, make sure you do it early in the season. The cuts that you're gonna make is where the flowers and the fruit are gonna form, so you don't wanna disturb this cycle. Feijoas love most New Zealand gardens. Enjoy how easy they are to grow at your place and get stuck in today. Make sure to subscribe to the Mitre 10 YouTube channel for more great vids or click here to watch more.